Good morning. Day 16, mill number one. We're just barely getting up here and um, getting ready to have my first meal now. I have some nuts left from last night. Remember that pecan we were playing with? I ate that and then we went on to eat what was this plus the salmon and the shrimp. And so I had four shrimp and I had half of that piece of salmon. And um, and then this is what's left. <clears throat> um, it was super really fulfilling and satisfying. In fact, um, that plus I had about a quarter cup of buttermilk. And um, I, that was I was done for the day. I went to bed early. I was really tired. Went to bed early and slept. It was the best night's sleep I've had in a long time. It just felt really amazing. When I woke up this morning, not hungry at all. I'm not hungry now, but I'm going to give my body just a little bit of something. I have a meeting shortly with a client across the street at the diner. And uh, so I know I'm preparing a little bit here. I don't want to show up to that hungry. I want to have something that I've already had. I want to stay on my plan. I know I'm pre-paving this with my thinking. It's like I'm laying out bricks and I'm, I'm making a brick walk in the place where I am here and to where I want to go. And I'm so I'm thinking it through and I'm thinking how fun it's going to be to order that egg white omelet. Maybe I'll order something a little extra. I haven't had any chili in a while, so maybe I'll get a cup of chili with it. Um, or maybe a bowl, split it in half like I do everything else. I might give myself a little treat. So I'm mapping out in my mind here about where I might where I might go. The choices I'll make that will be a different path than bread, different path than the amazingly good potatoes that they make there. In my mind, I can see myself making a choice for my mind and body that's better. And this choice is really good for me. It's also good for Abby and Keeley. It's good for Silvana. It's good for my friends and my business partners and my clients and my my students, uh, my cat. Hey, cat, hop down. And uh, little baby Rasa, right? So I'm making good choices, and there's good reasons to make these good choices. The potatoes that I that could be at one point would be a temptation, like, I won't mention it from last night, what we talked about. Um, satisfy an immediate need. Our brain literally, there's a little mechanism there that kind of gets rigged up through our behavior where it's, it's as though that little quick sugar high satisfies something. And that that part of our brain is just one time it's one speck of an area of our of our of our brain here i'm i'm in a behind the scenes here i should do behind the scenes of what's happening because the cat is keeps hopping up here come on your cat okay the cat there we go there's the cat that is the cat's name the cat we decided the other day that we think she's officially a cat now instead of a kitten. She's about a year and a half old, but she had a baby face for a long time. Okay, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around the circle with I'm going to have a, eat a nut from each of these things that will exhaust my almond, that will exhaust my cashew. And uh, I had to add a pineapple back in, and I've got that raspberry and that blueberry. I know it... it to eat a, a little tiny bite of something like that, I know in some, at some level seems really ridiculous, but you know, the trillions of cells in my body really appreciate it because the our bodies know how to break things down. They know how to unpackage the um, rich nutrients that are all packed together in there. They know how to take little pieces and put it to work. I'm picturing that my body is happily working away as I've described before. It's like a little bit, it's like Whoville, Whoville, from Dr. Seuss inside my body, right? And um, I don't want to be like Mr. Grinch in that situation. You know, I don't want to be the cantankerous fool that's that's on on the side of uh, um, making uh, um, just decisions and and, and having this Grinch like. You know, I don't, you know, I don't want to be like the Grinch. I want to be like a really good member. 
really we're a member of the amazing village that we're part of here. Well, we're like the mayors of the village. Um, we're our consciousness, our choices, our you know, is it, we're we're in charge, right? So that's what I'm going to have. I do want to talk a little bit about here. I've got my cashew milk ready, and here's Silvana. Good morning, Silvana. I want to say hi to my friends real quick. Bon dia. Good morning. <laughs> so we have our um, cashew milk. And one of the ideas here is that when we take anything into our body, if we give it a little special, um, so we have the special glass. You've seen this glass before. But I'm here with Silvana. And so whenever we make a special moment, we can make a special moment just standing by ourselves use a special glass or we have special bowls that we use here we made all of these abby made this little tiny platter and it's got a picture of kit kat on it and it says abby she made that and keely made this and let's see abby made this one and um so we have these special bowls that we use it's really fun you know you can make realize you can make your own dishes if you want to do that sometime set up a class here we'll we'll help you make your whole dinnerware you know it's fun it's interesting you know we have like two pottery studios in our basement of our building you know and wheels and kilns and um there's all it's so when you when you have a special connection with what i mentioned yesterday where our food comes from or at least the people that are helping to get our food here and you have a special connection with what you're eating with and eating from and you bring a specialness to the eating, like really slowing down, really tasting, really getting to know what we're eating. And when we have our special glass and we, we, what, how do we say it? Bling, bling da, bling da. Cheers, ching, 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 ching. Yeah, it's so nice. And that makes this a much more amazing experience. We'll talk about a scientist in Japan that studied um, the way that water crystallizes based on consciousness. It's really interesting. But let's save that for another time. Let's save right now. It just feels good to be oh, Shoto. Bringa, ching ching. It just feels good, right? Okay. Day 16, meal number one. We're going to have a super great day. Why? Because we can. Because we can put our mind there. And uh, because we can choose not to be Mr. Grinch in our village. We can choose to be any type of positive energy focus that we want to be. And because we can choose that, why not also choose... Uh, an amazing life of uh, balance and fun and abundance in our minds. As soon as we put our mind there, it crystallizes and we have it energetically in us. See you in a few hours.